This is how I made this Xenozaropteryx eating a gingerbread house entirely in Blender with help of her tool. First of all, as always, always, you gotta start with a decent blockout. So as you can see here, I start with very simple shapes that were made with skin modifier or either a simple sphere. Once I'm happy with how it looks, I increase the remesh value and start adding primary details um, such as for the head holes and for the rest of the body muscles, especially on the legs. Kind of my mistake here, uh, because I didn't need to go this much in detail with muscles because they'd be covered in the feathers, fur, whatever. So yeah, um, once I put in the eye, I can easily make the eyelids and, you know, add some details to the eyes. But it's still a placeholder for now. And I proceed to model the teeth really quickly. It's a nice workflow, you just model them with the subdivision modifier and replicate it for the lower teeth. Um, since you're watching it, you probably want to check out my free course on YouTube, how to sculpt a dinosaur. It's in the pinned comment. All right, then I proceed to experiment with the hair tool. It's very, very powerful, but I'm going to be honest, it's the first time I actually I uh, tried it on a dinosaur. I have done some hair before, but here, you know, it was a lot of experimentation. Uh, but it's it's very nice, very versatile. You can paint a lot of uh, attributes and stuff. Very nice. I'm sure I could have gotten better results if, you know, I put some more time into it. Oh yeah, also this dinosaur is pretty cool because we know what color it was and that it had uh, orange stripes on its tail, which is very, very cool. It's not something that you see often. And then the hardest part, obviously, <laughs> it's making the gingerbread house. I'm not that good at modeling. So yeah, as you can see, I do some really weird stuff here. Mm, I, you can actually make the icing uh, using the curves. They have this option where you can draw out the shapes. It, it was really, really nice and uh, fast. Yeah, then I proceeded to put down the Sinozaropteryx and render out this cool scene. Subscribe for more Scott breakdowns.